Hello and welcome to CyberLife. My name is Ken Underhill, your host. CyberLife is all about showcasing the men and women behind the scenes of cybersecurity. We also educate the general public on cybersecurity topics because we want you to protect yourself, your family, and your business. In today's episode, we have some very special guests. Welcome back to CyberLife. My name is Ken Underhill, your host. As I mentioned, we have some special guests in today's episode. So welcome to Isaiah. Thanks. Welcome to the show. Welcome, Jada. Thank you. And welcome, Destiny. I'm excited. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about forensics. So we're going to keep some things a little general, but we'll also talk about computer forensics a little bit. You guys excited? Yes. All right, cool. So we're going to start off with decoding some messages. And it's going to be pretty simple what we're going to do. So everyone should have an envelope in front of them and what I call a magic pen. So we're going to take our magic pen. And inside the envelope, there's some pieces of paper. And we're going to see what messages are written on those papers. So as you guys look at them, just shout out whatever words or, or whatever you see on them. Besides, it's the, the everything written on there is totally kosher, right? There's no, we're G-rated here. So go ahead and uh, if you guys want to open your envelopes and also take your magic pen. That's the one with the fat end there. So if you want to take that there. And with these pens, there's a little button you're going to notice on it. So there's a little button on these pens and they shoot out a little magic light, right? Basically just a, a ultraviolet light. So if you want to grab that there. So you'll want to look at the pieces of paper with that light and see if there's anything written on. You might have to look at the front or the back and see if there's any secret message. So just shout off words Car, as you see them. Car, okay. Favorite food. Hack. Cool. All right. What is your favorite food? Um, my favorite food is... Dog that's, a hard one. <laughs> That's I, totally fine. I, I don't. I love a lot of food. Cool. Yeah. My mom is cool. Energy. Perfect. We we already knew that. Your mom is really cool. Energy. Awesome. Candy. Candy. All right. Cool. Dogs. Ooh, fly. I love dogs. Cat, I don't know. Can cats fly? <laughs> cool. I love dogs. Is that it? Cybersecurity. All right, cybersecurity, which forensics, uh, digital forensics and computer forensics is one of the topics in there. So that was fun, but not extremely exciting. So. Without us making a huge mess in the studio we're filming in, we're going to play the game of Coca-Cola and Mentos. Ooh, I love that. So you guys, you guys have seen those videos and stuff. So we're not going to put Mentos in a bottle and shake it and shoot it through the ceiling or anything. Like, <laughs> so I'm sorry to disappoint, but we are just, we've got some uh, bowls with Coke in them. We're just going to throw the Mentos in there and we're going to hope that it doesn't shoot out through the ceiling and stuff. Cool? Yes. Cool. So if you want to just grab those Mentos and just throw them in there. We're just going to see what happens. Yep, you can throw them both in there. I may regret that, but you could throw them all in there. <laughs> so look, sometimes when criminal hackers or criminals in general are trying to hide data, they do what's called obfuscation. So basically they're trying to hide the data from the good people that are trying to figure out what they've actually done. So what the Mentos and Coke is simulating is them hiding that data. So they're taking the Mentos, which is the data they don't want us to see, and they're throwing it in some Coke where it will dissolve. Another way to think of that is when we do forensics, there's different types of memory. When we're going to a computer or laptop or something and we're trying to get the information, there's non-volatile and volatile memory. So volatile memory are things like RAM or random access memory. So if we think of that as a Mentos, right, if we shut off the computer or if it's turned off, we turn it on or something, or if we interrupt that power supply at all, that's what's happening with those Mentos right now. They're dissolving. And you can't really see that too much in the, in the viewer audience there but they're in here and they're dissolving and eventually they'll dissolve all the way. So that's why I wanted to show you guys that simple concept. So we get in our heads that when we're trying to do an investigation, a lot of times the bad people out there are trying to prevent us from catching them. Um, does that make sense? Bad people don't want to get caught, right? All right. So now for the real fun, we're going to get dirty um, and then we'll send you back to your, your parents. So what we're going to do is everyone has a piece of paper there. You also have a notepad. So one of the very critical things with, forensics is documentation and what's called a chain of custody. So as we gather evidence, we document everything. And then if I hand my evidence off to Jada, for example, I would want to make sure that I document, I gave it to Jada. That way, when I go to a court of law and present this evidence, and we're keeping things high level here, but when I go to a court of law and present the evidence, there's a chain, right? A chain of custody showing that the evidence started here when we collected it all the way through to here we are in the courtroom. Does that make sense to you guys? Cool. So we've got what we call forensic mud. You guys excited about forensic mud? Yes. All right. You've heard about it? No. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
So we've everyone's got a piece of paper here with them. And basically, this is what we need to find, right? So there's certain things we're looking for. Now, not everybody has these things in their thing of forensic mud. So you guys are going to have to work together a little bit to make sure you can answer all those questions on here. And for the audience that can't see that piece of paper, let me just say they're going to find four memory sticks throughout this forensic mud. They're going to also find a motherboard. And on that motherboard, there's a specific task. They have to find the name of who made the processing chip, right? So cybersecurity people watching that could probably take a guess on which one of those names it might be, but they're going to figure that out. We're also going to figure out, so there's some cookies in there, right? Because we like sweets. So there's going to be some cookies in there and they have to figure out who, what the name is on the cookie, uh, as well as there's some round candies in there, some gummies in there. We're going to have to figure out how many gummies are in the bag, as well as uh, there's actually some cell phones. So I threw some Android phones in there. We don't throw iPhones in the forensic mud at all. Hello and welcome back to CyberLife. My name is Ken Underhill, your host. Before the break, we got really excited about forensic mud. So now we're going to go ahead and dive right into it. So what I want you guys to do, you've got a piece of paper that has the tasks that we need to figure out, the questions we need to answer. You've also got a tablet, because as I mentioned before, documentation is very important for cybersecurity and specifically for forensics. And we've also got some other things here. We've got some pens, of course. But we've also got our magical forensic spoons, our forensic forks, and our forensic knives. Now, some people might be watching this saying, well, that's just plastic silverware. Not for us. That's forensic stuff for us. Cool? No. All right. So what we're going to do is, does everyone write with their right hand? Let me ask that real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So it's going to be a little challenging because you can only use your left hand to dig into the forensic mud. Mm. We've got all sorts of cloths and stuff here so we don't make a huge mess. But what we want to do is pull out things. And as we pull something out, we want to jot down on our notepad here what we see. So whether it's candy or, or something, right, a cookie or whatever, we want to figure that out. Now, if we pull out something that will answer a question, we want to make sure we shout out the answer like, hey, I found the answer to that question. Does that make sense? Cool. And also, since one of the things is getting four memory sticks, once we find all four, we'll celebrate a little bit. Yay, we find them all. All right, you guys ready? So there's only one motherboard in... There's only one motherboard in all of these, so somebody's got it. And and I can tell you right now, I don't even know. I mixed these all up, so I didn't. I don't even know where stuff is. So hopefully we can find it all. And so we're going to make sure we document, right? So as we dig in with our left hand and we find stuff, we can just set it, to, you know, on the cloths anywhere. Um, and you could stretch out more cloths if you guys need to. And then we're going to make sure we document, though, what we're finding. Sound good? All right, you guys ready? Well, let's, let's just dig in. You notice I'm staying clean for this episode. Everyone else is going to get dirty. <laughs> So yeah, just dig in. It's just chocolate pudding for those that don't know. Don't worry. It's nothing nothing dramatic or anything like that. Got something to be. All right, cool. <laughs> and you guys can use also the cloths if you want to wipe off whatever you found to see like what it actually is. All right, cool. So you found a hard disk. So Isaiah found a hard disk. Now that's not one of the things on our list of ma uh, mandatory things we need to find. Can you set it down? Yep, you can set it down there. That's fine. Now you also want to make sure you document just put hard disk or, or disk or something on, on your paper. So you just want to make sure you document as we find stuff. We want to make sure we document. It's very important we keep that documentation. Okay. All right, try another pen there, see if it works. Sometimes those ones don't work well. All right, I think that one works. And hard. Wait, what's it called again? A hard disk. Yep, you got it. Yeah, that one works too. Cool. So you guys are pulling stuff out there. Now, if you find any things that look like a cookie, be sure to take a look at those closer and see if there's a name or something on it. And there's a couple different types of cookies in, in here. So just FYI. Yeah, you find a cookie. So uh, so what's the name on that one? Oreo. Yeah, so jot, jot that down. So you found you saw, you saw found one of the, the cookie company names. So Oreo is one of them. So we have one of our answers for that question. And yeah, there's marshmallows. There's all sorts of stuff in here. There's computer parts in here um, as well. Yeah, exciting stuff, right? All right, cool. So, so you found a fan, uh, a computer fan. So yeah, I found another Oreo. Cool. Yeah. So you can just set that down. Now you've already. Yeah, and you could just mark each time you find another one if you want. Wait. So write Oreo again. No, you don't have to do that. You just put like a one or, or X or something. However you want to keep track of that you found more than more than one. You found a cookie. Or you found a, I found something big. Oh. Cool. All right, what you got? I found a hamster. All right, yeah, you found an Android device. That's why I use iPhone because Android devices go in the mud. So <laughs> here's a here's a Samsung. So uh, 
So, yep, so make sure you document that you got a Samsung. So by the end, though, we want to make sure that we know how many Samsungs we had, right? So you got one of them, so great job on that. Now, FYI, don't do that with your computer or your mom's stuff, your mom's cell phone. Don't put it in this. I found a box of candy. Yeah. So you found the motherboard. Yeah. So you'll want to um, you'll want to clean off a little bit that if you can't see it, <laughs> just so you can see what the name is of of the company with the processor that made the processor. Oh. <laughs> And you guys, can, like I said, you can use a cloth to wipe it um, as well if you want. Now, one thing, Isaiah, you found the candy, but what kind of candy is in there? It looks like there is. So you can probably see on that side there. It looks a little clearer. So is that gummy candy? Gummy bear. All right, yeah. So remember, we have a question, how many gummies are in the bag? So we'll want to actually open that up a little bit and see. And I'll help you out so you don't get your right hand dirty. So I am going to get dirty for the viewers that, that wanted me to get messy too. Yeah, so you guys find the stuff. So you're still working on the motherboard. There you go. So you find another Samsung. So go ahead and jot that down. So so far we found two Samsung phones in here. Disgusting. <laughs> so we could have we could have went with something cleaner than forensic mud, but like where's the fun in that, right? You could just cool. So you found one of the memory sticks. So good job, Jada, on that. So remember, we have four memory sticks we need to find still. So we found uh, one of them so far. I just found two. And you got the motherboard there you're still working on. Uh, so that looks like a cookie to me. So so I think you just solved our question totally on that one, Isaiah. So just look at the cookie and see if you can see the name of the um, the cookie manufacturer on that one. Where would I even find this? It says wow. Yeah, you can, or you could just set it on top of your um, your stuff there. Oh, so that's yeah. So FYI, there are some uh, self candy cell phones or whatever in there. So that's that's not actually a, a working device there. But you could still. Um, yep. There you go. Yep. There you go. So yep. Go ahead and be sure to um, to jot that down there, and I'll see if I can actually get the gummies open here. And so, yeah, I covered the motherboard with as much as I possibly could to make it extremely difficult to, um, let me have to get another one. Excuse me, Isaiah. Cool. You guys having fun so far? Yes. Yeah. My hands are freezing cold. Yeah, so the, yeah, so it's pudding, so it's going to be very, very cold. Um, there's marshmallows. There's all sorts of stuff in there. All sorts of goodies. I have so much marshmallows in my hand right now. It's not good. Oh, it's so cold, though. Yeah, so it looks like you found a, a cookie as well. Five, six. All right. What is that? Doing great. Good job, guys. Seven. I just found seven. Um, yeah, Why I, did you clean this all off? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, let me take a look real quick. You might have, have enough. Yeah, you do. So look at that black box. That should be the black seven. box you're looking for that you see on there, that, um, that tiny little oh. square. Yeah, is there a name on there? I'm glad it was a Samsung. Intel. There you go. So it looks like we answered that question there. So for those watching, you probably guessed AM, uh, AMG or uh, Intel. And we're going to keep digging in stuff here, and we'll see if I can actually open this up here. I got something. I, got something. I put a little too much pudding on some of these. What you got? It looks All right. like a light switch. So I don't know. That has buttons. Does that, is that a light switch or maybe a cell phone? Nope. Oh, it uh, <laughs> looks like a toy cell phone. Crystal? There you go. Yeah, so make sure you uh, document what you found. No, uh, yes. Did you notice? Cool. Good job. Yep. Yeah. So remember, we always want to document everything we're finding there. You never know what might be valuable uh, in the case itself. I think I got something. Cool. cool. I got a, I think it's a memory stick. Okay, yep, you found one of memory six. Yep, so that's two I think we found so it looks far. Like a, another thing that goes onto the motherboard. Yep. Looks like a, a, a lunatic computer shop. <laughs> and by the way, we I had permission to destroy my own computer to put it, uh, put parts of it in here. So again, legal stuff is what we do here on the show. Cool, good job. Got a Oreo. Do you guys feel like we're making a mess or something? Yes. Okay, cool. Wait, what? Mission accomplished, right? Really? That's only you do. I'm so happy now. 
I have something in here. Good. So we're finding a lot of stuff. Now, sometimes in a forensic investigation, you're going to find a ton of different things. And here we're using candy and stuff. You don't usually find candy. Otherwise, everybody would go into computer forensics. But we're using this to simulate the different types of data that we might find. Welcome back to Cyber Life. My name is Ken Underhill, your host. Before the break, we started diving into our forensic mud, which we all enjoy so much. And everyone's been finding a ton of stuff in here. We've been answering the questions we had. Uh, Isaiah in a second is going to count those gummies, and so we'll know the answer to that question as well. Uh, are we still having fun being messy, guys and gals? Cool. <laughs> awesome. We'll clean all this up in a little bit, but let's go ahead and keep documenting. You got, you're, everyone's doing a great job. Have we found all the memory sticks yet? I know we had found three of them. Are we still looking for more? Okay. We're still looking for one more. And for those that don't know what a memory stick looks like, they normally don't have pudding on them, but this is what it uh, might look like in your home computer. So we're going to keep searching for that. And uh, Isaiah has these gummies here. Uh, do you want to take a quick count of these for us, Isaiah? And we'll get that question answered as well. We'll see if we can guess how many gummies are in the bag. So, so far we've been finding the round candy. That was one of the things we had a requirement on. We figured out the cookie company names. So Oreo uh, as well as Lotus. Yeah. And we found our motherboard and we figured it out that it was Intel after we figured out it was also covered with marshmallows and pudding and all sorts of other things. And Isaiah found a hard disk as well. Jada found a ton of stuff, including cell phones, um, which, by the way, are our stuff. It's not somebody else's. We're not being mean. So yeah. we're going to keep digging in and seeing what else we can find you inside of our mud plate. here. Yep, you can wipe your hand with that if you want. It feels cool. so much better <laughs> And you may not get all of it by wiping your hand, just FYI. Uh, uh, we'll try to get what we can uh, during the episode here. So we've had a mixture of evidence here. And as I mentioned before, a lot of times when you're doing an investigation, there's evidence hidden in places you wouldn't expect. Not typically in forensic mud, but you never know. And there's a lot of different types of evidence. So we've had marshmallows, we've had cookies, we've had different computer parts. So we've had the memory sticks that we're still looking to find that last one for. We've had some real cell phones. So again, Android devices. We've had fake cell phones. And we've had just a whole lot of different things. So anything new you guys are finding at all in there? Have we found that other memory stick? We're still hiding out on it. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys ever want to deal with forensic mud again after this? No. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> all right, so I did it. Isaiah's doing the count for us on the gummies. Um, again, we always want to make sure when we're doing forensics that we're looking and assessing Number one, what is the scope, right? What are we seeing out here visually before we start messing with stuff? And we had looked and just seen a big pile of mud, right, in, in a pan. And so we had to dig in to actually figure out what's in that pan. Um, what's our number there? Do you got a final number on the gummies for us, Isaiah? I am guessing 16 or 17. 17 is it. Um, assuming I can count correctly too, right? <laughs> so 17, great job on that. So I think we're just at this point trying to find another memory stick. So are we finding it at all? So I see a couple there. I know we got, I know Isaiah's got one there. So we'll keep digging around, see if we can find it. Um, if not, we'll attribute it to criminal hackers that they stole it from us uh, before the episode aired and we can't find it. So we'll keep finding stuff and make sure when you find stuff, we keep documenting stuff, right? We want to make sure that we always document because we have to prove that number one, it came from that person or that system. Number two, that we actually didn't have it get corrupted in some capacity because if I just hand my evidence to Jada and I don't say that I handed it to Jada and she holds it for five minutes and hands it back, if there's something corrupted, it could be something where a criminal could get off without it. And Isaiah, congratulations, just found our last memory stick. So great job on that. Now we're not going to have time to get to our slime probably in the show. But real quick, what we have in here is a couple of USB sticks. Now there's no information on them at all. But that's what we had in there. And since we're already messy, we're not going to worry about getting messy and digging in this stuff, but I will. Um, so this is supposed to be slime. It's a little hard, but there's a lot of stuff in there as well. So cool. So now we're all messy for the show. So hopefully you learned a little bit about forensics. We talked about the chain of custody. We talked about why it's important. We also talked about documentation. So thank you everyone for, for joining the episode. Cyber Life. My name is Ken Underhill, your host. Before the break, we finally found that last memory stick. So great job, Isaiah. Great job, Jada, as uh, as well. And so 
we got the motherboard here, which I know you hate at this point, <laughs> and we, we don't have to find any more stuff. So this was a great episode. We learned a little bit about forensics. And don't forget to follow the Cyber Life. You can find us at cyberlife.tv. You can find us on LinkedIn at Cyber Life. You can find us on Twitter at The Real Cyber Life. So again, making sure it's not a fake account. That's us, The Real Cyber Life. You can find us on Instagram as well. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next episode.